executive studio where we're privileged to bring you the most innovative and transformational uh, leaders in the industry. And we're happy to be joined today by Matt Moser, the COO of AM Best. Welcome, Matt. Thank you. So, Matt, when I think about AM Best and the brand that it represents, um, I, I'd like to get your perspective on how you believe the industry perceives AM Best today and maybe how you'd, you'd like for them to perceive you a year or two down the road. Okay. Um, well, I, I think for the most part, they think financial analysis, financial strength, and evaluations. They always think, well, you're looking in the rearview mirror, you're looking at our financials, you're looking at where we've been, not necessarily looking forward, um, and really more of a financial aspect to it. But there's a whole lot more to it than what, right now what we're looking at. And we, we look at balance sheet strength, which is where you're at today. We look at operating performance, which is kind of your trend and your track record of your earnings. And we look at your business profile in the marketplace and how you protect those earnings and how you'll protect them out into the future. So we are looking at it from that perspective further out going forward because we're thinking in terms of will you as a company be there 10 years down the road when your claimant has to be paid for his workers' compensation claim or some claim that's out there. Right. But if you, if you look at it from the future-wise, um, I'd say it's a lot different. And you look at this conference and, and where things are going here, uh, we look it up at business profile and how you protect your earnings. But you know, now we're looking at it, how are you protecting your profile? How are you protecting your market position? Right. And that's an important piece for companies and that's what I think they're working on here. So what I hear is, is kind of a movement within AMBEST to kind of innovate the way you view your constituent companies. Uh, how you analyze their profile and the resiliency, and you, you kind of think about this, this innovation movement and kind of analyze that as part of the context of, of the companies you serve. Absolutely, I mean, you, you look at it in terms of this conference and you hear about winners and losers and you know, are you going to stay up with where things are going? Is somebody going to come from outside the industry, take your position? We're not necessarily looking at it from a winners or losers, but we are looking at a company and their position in the marketplace and how well they've protected that. And if you're a company that isn't really paying attention to the trends that are going on here, some of the issues of, of whether it be the uh, Internet of Things and the technology and the data that's coming through there, or if you're looking at parameterized risk and those type of things, if you're not paying attention to that, you're going to have somebody come into your field and you're going to end up losing on the business profile, which will ultimately hurt your profitability and ultimately hurt your company and the financial strength. Yeah, you know, innovation, uh, at least in our world, is kind of the constant pursuit of efficiency toward a strategic domain or strategic destination for the purpose of growing. And you know, the, you know, innovation for us is not a box to be checked, right? Absolutely. You know. I, I, I suppose early on in the process, that's a necessary piece, but innovation reveals itself in how you eventually evolve, how you grow. And so when AMS looks at the marketplace out there, what are the markers that you might look for the, to kind of, that would signal that a company's actually in an innovative process? Uh, you know, right now, it's actually somewhat easy. I mean, there, there are, we, we still have a fair amount of companies that aren't even there. So somebody asked me, how do you measure that? Well, the first step is, are you doing anything? <laughs> are you doing something? Right. Then you look at it as, you know, are you gathering information? Do you have somebody that's focused on these issues, that's uh, you know, making sure the management team and the board is, is staying apprised and what's going on in the marketplace? Are you investing in some of these initiatives that you can learn from that investment and have people come back and perhaps partner with them down the road? But are you, you know, the most important thing is are you out talking to people, knowing what's going on so you can partner? I was walking down the hallway, I bumped into a broker who I would have never expected to see at this conference. Right. But you know, when I asked him what he was doing here, he said, well, when my companies ask and they are looking to do something, I need to know who to connect them to. He's not going to be their answer, but he needs to know the people to connect them to so they can move forward. And, and companies, to your point, it's not check your box. This will be an evolutionary aspect. You will always continue to work through things. Right. Yeah, you, you know, history is, is littered with companies that either never innovated or innovated to a point and just never realized that you have to keep innovating. Mm -hmm. You have to keep um, kind of chasing that, that innovation rabbit out there in front of you. So, AMBEST, 
who do you perceive your customer to be? Who, who do you satisfy? Who do you want to be, you know, uh, whose satisfaction do you want to achieve? Well, it's a, it's a broad spectrum. You know, the, the, the customer that we contract with is the insurance company. However, the insurance company only comes because of the demand of policyholders and investors and the users of their product. So clearly we want to make sure that policyholders feel they're getting quality information, uh, reasonable rating, ratings and, and respectable ratings. That you, I never call ratings accurate, but they need to make sure they're con considering all the risks. Uh, the information we put out, the expertise we provide in the insurance industry, all of those things go towards you know, the investors, the policyholders, the brokers, the agents. Those, those are the true people that are getting value out of what we have, and they create the demand for the ratings. Yeah, so I, you know, I think about the brand of AMVEST, and I, I, I think that, you know, that the consumer out there is really a, a major beneficiary of that brand and, and what it represents, right? The, the security and peace of mind that it represents. And so as I think about that, and I think about the, the kind of the, the, the focus that the industry is now putting on the consumer, right? Um, how do you look at that? And how do you, how do you, how do you take that, re, that renewed focus of the industry to the customer and say, hey, that's an opportunity for AM Best to kind of further deepen our, our position with those customers? Well, I think one of the key things is that innovation and the focus is to bring down the cost the cost of the business and the customer and what they're getting. We heard today is something like 62, per, 62 cents on a dollar in terms of what they get for, for loss coverage. So that value and what we look to for companies and how they position themselves, we're always looking for companies to improve and innovate and that's what strengthens them. That feeds to the customer aspect. Um, and so we are, I do view it as we do push the industry forward on the best practices because of the way we evaluate. The evaluation creates a better, stronger industry. I love that statement. You push the industry forward, right? And I think the one thing that it's a, that that I wanted to make sure that as Innovators Edge that we communicated to our audience that A Invest is pushing the industry forward on innovation. Um, it, it may not necessarily be intuitive today, but A Invest is an innovation innovative company. Well, when, when, I, when I got there, the, the slogan was, you know, being a positive, constructive force in the insurance industry, and I believe that that's what we still stand for, and I think the focus on innovation is extremely important to the insurance industry for its policyholders, for its own aspect, and in, in dealing with competitors as well, so. Well, Matt, thank you so much. This has been great, and uh, I appreciate it so much. All right, absolutely, thank All right. you.